Spider-Man. Spider Today we'll be talking about Marvel Legacy, Shonen Jump's anniversary, Spider and more Star Wars comics on this week's weekly comics news show. Just like last. Look out! Let the speculation begin. Last Friday, Marvel announced the 52 titles that will be featured in their Marvel Legacy Initiative. Expect plenty of spider stories and cinematic universe characters, but the real twist, an upcoming death. Who doesn't love free comics? Marvel will be offering Iceman No. 1 and the other Resurrection titles for free on their website. Hurry up and get your downloads because deals this good don't come every day. The war of jokes and riddles continues in Batman No. 26. After the Riddler met the Joker in the last issue, things quickly escalate. This week's release sees both villains form their own posse, while Batman is left brooding over the lives of innocents. Deathstroke number 21 arrives this week with a bold new direction for DC's popular anti-hero. After the events of the Lazarus Contract leave him with a new perspective, Slade decides to reform and build a team of heroes to better the world. Will it last? Find out starting this Wednesday. The Merc with a Mouth is ready to slaughter everyone once more and Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe again number one. Series creators Cullen Bunn and Dalibor Talogic reunite to bring us some more massive carnage across Marvel. This week in the ever-evolving saga of Peter Parker's poor luck, he's actually getting to catch a break. Or so it seems. He's got some R&R time and some sweet Broadway tickets to the hottest show in town. Could it be? Is the world's unluckiest man lucky? Lurking elsewhere is his old-time foe, the Crime Master, there to rain on his parade. I guess a human spider hybrid hero's work is never done. Soon to be father Josh Miller finds himself facing more than just the struggles of parenthood when he ends up at the center of a supernatural conspiracy in Sacred Creatures No. 1 from Image Comics. According to the writer Klaus Janssen, this series is years in the making with great art, compelling characters, and a story that will sink its teeth into you. In honor of its 50th anniversary, Weekly Shonen Jump is celebrating with a two-pack issue reprint of the magazine's iconic milestones. The first pack will have the original issue that was released in 1968, and the second pack will have issues 3 and 4 that were released in 1995. This bundle of nostalgia will have reprints of famous manga such as Dragon Ball, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Slam Dunk. Shonen Jump also released Jump Paint, a manga drawing app, as well as launching Jump's Universal Manga Contest. International entries are accepted, and the first prize is a spot in the digital or print publication of Shonen Jump itself, with prize money. Check out Shonen Jump's website for more contest details, and best of luck to all contest participants. After decades of bloodshed and war, two nanite field soldiers are finally getting a vacation in Bloodshot's Day Off No. 1. This new New Valiant series by Elliot Rawl and Kari Evans will follow Tank Man and Viet Man for some well-needed R&R in New York City. Will they enjoy this time off, or will trouble come crashing down? Star Wars The Force Awakens is returning to comics in the form of a new young adult reader series. Published by IDW, it will be an 80-page retelling of The Force Awakens targeted at younger fans. The movie adaptation will precede an ongoing young reader series titled Star Wars Adventures, which will feature brand new stories starring Rey from Force Awakens. This week's staff pick is COWL, which stands for Chicago Organized Workers League, the world's first superhero labor union. This superhero series from Image Comics takes place in the 1960s. Filled with crime, scandal, and social political issues, the panels of Cowl provides a deeper look at each character with a noir-esque art style. This week's shout-out goes to Devram Kutzer and his mini-comic series, The Exceptional Adventures of Seyfettin Effendi. The series has the titular character established an organization to solve mysterious events. Packed with horror and history, check out the series now on Comixology. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw here, like and subscribe to the channel and check out comicsfirst.com to find podcasts, reviews, interviews, and videos on everything from comics to movies to television to politics. This week's question is, in honor of Independence Day, which comic book character embodies the USA we all know today and how? I'm Lindsay. And I'm Kay. And thanks for watching the weekly comics news show. No. Never. No.